Reneas is a small but gallant old engine. He and Skarloey are two of the oldest engines on Sodor, but they've been given many overhauls and are as good as new. However, like any engine, they occasionally have a few hiccups. One day, he was letting out much more steam than usual. It just didn't seem to go away. Hmm, that's odd. I've never seen you like this before. I don't know what it is. I feel fine otherwise. I guess I'll have my lunch steamed today. <laughs> oh, shut up. Well, you are, what, 152? I guess you could say age is finally caught up. Careful, you're riding on thin ice. Oh, yes, those are fighting words, Sahandul. Might come and bite you back. Us old engines might be old, but we still have a lot of tricks up our pistons. With a massive billow of smoke, Reneus set off. <coughs> oh, goodness! Gracious! Something's definitely up with his system. The steam died down as Reneus backed onto his train. The passengers were glad to see him, and Reneus felt very content. I think it should be fine for work, but we'll arrange a backup just in case. Age is caught up? Pah! Not with this boy. Age has been left far behind. <coughs> I've got everything under control. But unfortunately, Reneus did not. As he puffed along his line, the steam started leaking again. He found it very difficult to get his train up the hills, but he struggled on. Oof! I feel so weak! He almost made it to the top station, but had to give up at Scarlowy. Steam billowed out like a volcano. Oh dear. Peter Sam came to take his passengers. Well, 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 what have we here? Age did finally catch up after all. Says the engine who couldn't take care of his own funnel. Peter Sam snorted. As her handle came in with a train going the opposite direction. You know what you look like, Reneus? A big red steaming sausage. Steaming sausage? Ooh, you've dug yourself very deep, boy. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. You couldn't have made it this far, Sir Handel. You'd still be mourning in the shed. Come on, Reneus. Let's get you to the works. At the steamworks, the workmen inspected him. Some of your valves are very loose and we're leaking. This should be an easy fix. Thomas was sitting next to him and was about to get a new coat of paint. I've had that problem as well in the past. In fact, I've had the exact opposite happen when my pipes were blocked. And you'll never guess what caused it. Was it coal? Nope. The water tower was broken, so I had to get some water from the river. But driver didn't check before pouring it in. And it turns out the bucket had caught some fish. So they went in your tank? Oh yes, and it caused all sorts of havoc in my boiler. Reneus couldn't stop laughing. Yeah, it's not good to stick things in engines' tubes. It blocks them and causes all sorts of problems. Suddenly, Reneus had an idea. An idea to get back at Peter Sam and Sir Handel. Fortunately, there was no need for Peter Sam. He apologized when Reneus returned that evening. I'm sorry I was cheeky. You did well to get the train that far. That's all right. But what about Sir Handel, may I ask? Oh, he still thinks it's quite a joke, I'm afraid. Up to his usual boasting. Well, well, well. Red Sausage is back from the works, eh? Will you shut up, you rude engine? Oh, come on. Can't you take a joke? Don't worry. I've got a plan. What are you going to do? 
Reneas told the engines, and they were all surprised at first, then burst out with laughter. Oh, you cheeky engine, Reneas. Just don't do anything to annoy the passengers. Don't worry, Sandal takes a morning freight train first, so it shouldn't be an issue. Driver's gone to the butcher right now. Sir Handel woke up late the next morning. Come on, we need to get going. Ugh. Oh, I, I feel so stuffy today. We'll clean you out once we get to the quarry. Now hurry. All right. But, but man, it's really bad. Sir Handel set off, but was having difficulty building enough steam. What's wrong, Sir Handel? Has age caught up with you now? Sir Handel ignored him and tried his best to carry on. Do I smell meat? Sir Handel tried his best, but it only got worse. Ah, I can't puff! I'm going to explode! You smell that? It smells like meat. We're gonna have to stop at Cross Nycruin. Sir Handel was parked in a siding. What's that noise? Hang on, it sounds like something sizzling inside you. But what? Uh, Achoo! Steam went everywhere, and several slimy things landed on Sir Handel, the driver, and fireman. When the smoke cleared, he realized that he was covered in sausages. What the hell were those doing in my funnel? He found out soon when Reneas puffed in with his passenger train. Well, well, well. Now who's a steaming sausage? The passengers all howled with laughter. Sir Handel was furious. You utter jerk! How could you? Oh, come on. Can't you take a joke? Ooh, that's gotta hurt. You just got roasted, just like the sausages. It didn't take long to clean him out, and Sir Handel was soon back on his way. But whenever he passed another engine, they would make a sausage-related comment. I'll have a broiled freight further with some chips, please. How big were your sausages? I'd think they'd be pretty small for an engine like you. Sir Handel ignored them. When he returned to the shed, the others were waiting. Now then, Sir Handel, have you learned a thing or two today? Yes, yes, I'm sorry, okay? Just forget about it, please. Very well, but you know now not to try any cocky behavior with us, because we'll get even.